70 um they're actually really small and they're quite powerful so this is quite 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 impressive to see that this laptop has more power than the previous generation flagship desktop I, i'm really uh, impressed with this this is uh, you know the best that computer uh design and technology's ever been and this is in a laptop and not desktop very impressive okay another thing here um why i i am so impressed with this i've been in many laptops and um this is the easiest laptop to ever get into um it only has eight screws in this case or the case and the bottom cover because it's you it's is using a premium magnesium alloy it's so light and thin and I, I did the research on it it says it's actually um even stronger than aluminum and i guess because it's so rigid and so light i guess dell only had to use eight screws to hold it on um but i've been in a lot and show me a laptop that has less screws to get into okay now it's all back together um now it's time to uh power it back up reinstall windows 10 um and then we'll run the passmark benchmark to uh and we'll also do a uh, benchmark on the ssd and i have a photo of uh before and after and we'll get started on installing windows 10 now okay so we're back to the guest game theater room and here is the laptop next to the sony x 908 85 inch HDMI 2.1 120 Hertz 120 frames per second also on my last video a lot of people did not like that laptop being in tent mode but the stand was here it was right here on the side of this futon and when I want to get into movie theater mode there we go i just let the uh, armrest down i feel like i'm back in uh the movie theater now uh even though this is an 85 inch i heard a lot of people say oh well it might be too big for a little room like this actually it's perfect i was worried that it might be too big but because i'm only like 10 feet away from the screen actually it's more immersive than being in a theater because when you're in a theater i'm so far back uh, it looks like, you know, the screen size is normal, but when you're sitting, uh, 10 feet away from 85 inch and it's a 4k and it's HDR and it's Dolby vision because all of my movies, uh, when I watch movies, um, I click on my home screen, I go here to voodoo. And what's nice about this on this is if you look at all of my movies, all of my movies, the majority is by default are in Dolby Vision. So I'm rewatching a lot of old movies and it's like I've never watched them before. It's like watching them for the first time again because what uh, Voodoo does is they actually stream the movies in Dolby Vision. Now, um, one more thing that's a, a big bang for the book here with this X900H, even though it's an HDMI 2.1. It has, there's two types of where there's multiple versions of HDR. So you have HDR10, you have HDR10+, Plus, which is Samsung is using because it's uh, dynamic metadata. It's supposed to compete with the Dolby Vision and Dolby Vision is dynamic metadata. So when you're watching a movie, the light, you know, the HDR content, the speculative highlights, they adjust throughout the scene by scene. Um, but what gives this TV an advantage over a lot of other TVs is that it has Dolby Vision player LED. There's two types of Dolby Vision. There's player LED and TV LED. This one actually has TV LED Dolby Vision. So it's a lot better than the regular uh, Dolby Vision that doesn't have it. So sometimes if you are if you want the best Dolby Vision or HDR that you can get, make sure your TV has, and Sony, I know, has the player LED. So I think the A80J and the A90J both have uh, TV uh, or Dolby Vision uh, TV LED. So, all right, so let's get back to installing Windows 10.
so I have to readjust the bias okay so now we're going to go ahead and install Windows 10 And when this is done, I will be back. Okay, so I just ran into a snag with trying to install Windows on this brand new blank Western Digital SN 850 drive. So if you look here, you'll see that I'll go back. And I'll go back one more if I do a custom install Windows does not see this drive uh, I took out the old drive but what I should have did was I didn't know this was going to happen um, so I'll have to put back in the old drive put the new drive in the second port and format the new drive then come back and reinstall Windows so I will see you here in a moment so if you ever have to remove the bottom cover on this Dell Alienware or any laptop um, just get you a iFixit kit and use a good tar picks take your time and then just break the seal all the way around the bottom because I hear sometimes people have a hard time getting into there crack them or they scratch up the metal or the plastic so just take your time and go around the edge of it real easy take your time okay so I got both of my gum stick um, NVMe SSDs back in uh, the 3.0 and the 4.0 so um, if you ever find yourself in this position and you have a drive and you buy one and it's not formatted, you can't install Windows on it, just put the original back in the original slot, put the second one in there, uh, boot back up to Windows and go into the uh, disk management and look for the drive and format it. Okay, since this uh, drive has to come back out, uh, the PCI 3.0, um, I'm going to pull that drive out because later on I'm going to put in another uh, PCI 4.0 um, and run them in RAID. But I'm going to take that drive out so that way when I benchmark it, um, I can make sure that uh, I have only uh, one drive and there's no um, processing on the other drive. Okay, so now you have the drive in there and you boot it back up to Windows. Okay, this is Windows 11. So you're going to right click on the start button. And you're going to go to disk management. Okay, so now it sees the drive. Here we go. It's disk one. Now we're going to create a volume. We're going to allocate all space to it. And we're going to assign D to it. There we go. It is finished. Now let's go to explore and see. Okay, there we go. We can see the drive. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and reinstall Windows on it. Okay, I'm running a, a, a ATTO benchmark, and right there at the one at the 2.8 gigabytes and the 3.2 gigabytes has now surpassed the samsung drive that was in here now this should be double that performance of a samsung drive okay so the benchmark has completed for both of these drives the one right here on the right this was the os drive this was the samsung